recording. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all your Akimat that pushed this word in sincerity and in truth. Coming back at you with another lesson. This is going to be based upon um, a video that me and the brother Karab viewed on uh, YouTube. And the title of the video is called 1976 Special Report The Total Woman. And the total woman is written by uh, this this woman. She's like an Edomite woman. I mean, she probably is Esau. Uh -huh. But the total woman book is, um, she wrote that book, and there's a lot of truth in that book. And basically, um, to get down to the, to the bottom line, the point is that the book is basically telling women to be submissive to their husbands, to bow down to them, to cook for them. To uh, be there for them, basically to give them uh, as much sex as they want, to dress up, um, you know, like um, sexy for them when they come home, and all that, all the good stuff, basically, man. You know, so I agree with everything she was saying. I liked it. I was like, okay, this lady got a lot of damn sense, and a lot of feminists was uh, um, against her back way back at that time in 1976. They said it was so bad. And if you mention that book, The Total Woman, and you will buy a feminist that they will get into fist fights. So um, that Total Woman um, mentality, that book is, uh, that mentality is basically done away with because in today's society, you're not going to get The Total Woman. You know what I'm saying? And basically that, that book is described in Proverbs, the uh, 31st chapter, basically, man. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because yeah. the book backs up what the scriptures say, how the most I set things up. And like I said, this is the one one of many reasons why the most high you how by Shimmy Al Shah is gonna destroy this place, man. That's one thing yeah. this this place um go against. They do the complete opposite. They they want the woman over the man. Yeah. And that's Esau he's Edom bullshit, man, cause he he's a bitch by nature any damn way, man. He like his woman on him. And he try to put put push that out for everybody to, to be be like him, man. Had a woman over the, over the man. God, exactly. So, um, Lord Willard in post production, uh, the brother Karak could put it in the um, in the info um, part where you could where brothers can log on and actually see the uh, see the see the video of it. It's only twelve minutes long, you know. It's, it's not a long video, but it's pretty good, man. And uh, I can so watch it, man, because this is what the uh, future is gonna be for our women in the kingdom, man. Not on this side, but. In the kingdom, Proverbs 31 is going to be a reality, man. Mm-hmm. God, because most of you got, first you got to take this devil out the way. And um, uh, two-thirds of our own people who want to um, subscribe to this bullshit. You yeah, know? but because um, Esau basically set up uh, when all that women's liberation was going on in the 70s, he set all that up. Yep. So to break, the ones to break up family, you know, so the school system can uh, eat your children. And then number two, it was set up for the woman in these last days that we had, basically, because it took that many years for the for this stuff to start developing to happen. But it was basically set up for what we living in now, which is a woman worshiping society where the woman is over the man. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so that's what all that women's liberation was about. Yeah, this uh, way back then. Kind uh, of, it's, it's part of the new order plan, man. Order by Kao. Woman over a damn man. That's that that creates chaos, actually. Exactly. And uh, in that video, when you watch it, a hey, the lady husband he was actually in the background, and she was speaking proudly of her husband, man. Mm -hmm. You know, saying saying how she cook for him, bow down to him, dress in sexy lingerie when he come home, and all. And he was just in the background with shades on, just having his arm folded, just smiling, man. Come on. And we can prove and all you this. Like this. Uh, okay. You, you, you get a woman like that, you can go through all types of hell in this society. But you come on to a woman like that, you're going to have a big J.J. Evans grin on your face, man. God. God. Because <laughs> yeah, that's comforting, man. The woman, yeah. woman nine days not, is not a comfort, man. At all, man. They had a damn headache, man. Yeah. You know, and I, like I said, we're going to... All this is, you can back this up in the scripture. You're going to bring scriptures out, man. So you can't say we come out with this is our opinion. This is what the Most High said. We're going to prove it to you out of the scriptures, man. Yeah, God. All right. Uh, the first one is, uh, if, I, if I may, this is um, uh, Genesis 3 and 16. Let me get straight to the point. Going to the woman, he said, 
I will greatly multiply thy, sor thy sorrows and thy conception, you know, at birth, you know, you have them, um, uh, uh, what do they call it, um, when you give birth, birth, pain. birth pains and stuff, yeah, kind of, kind of, they gotta give them uh, aspirin and stuff to uh, slow it down, kind of, kind of, it's the punishment to, uh, most I gave to Eve and all you women, man, you know, for, uh, what, what happened, you know, um, taking up, um, uh, 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 them false philosophies of, uh, of the left hand side, man. All right, it says in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire. It look, check this out. This is the point. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Plain to the point. You can't get around that, man. And that's how the most I had it set up for the beginning, man. Yeah. Say most I said from the beginning. That's what Genesis means from the beginning. Yep. All right. So it says that desire, that desire should be to thy husband. He should rule over thee, be over you, man. And we're gonna and the Corinthians will tell you the order how the most I set things up, man. Lord willing, we're gonna get that too. It's, it's the heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, the man and the woman. All right. That was it on that. You had some brother. And one, every wise woman buildeth her house. Okay, this is a wise woman buildeth her house. How does she build her house? By keeping her husband happy, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, the man is the head of the household, and like you say, you can have a bad day all day. You come on to a woman that's gonna uh, take care of you. Hey, that man gonna be uh, up trying to do everything. You know, take care of this. You know what I'm saying? drama and all that bullshit. Like, nobody got time for that shit, man. You go through enough hell here to add on to your, your bullshit loving, drama loving ass, man. Exactly. And, and scripture speaks to this ass, but the foolish pluck it down with her hands, man. Okay? She tears it down little by little and then what happens to the man eventually leaves because I'm tired of your BS. I'm getting the hell out of here. That's it. The hell with you. Oh, hey, man. That's part, hey, that was part of curses most I put on people. I grabbed it real quick since you said that. Yeah, and then what happens? The man leaves and leaves the, ch the kids, the children behind him too, man. Kind. It's, it tells you, um, it's Deuteronomy, uh, because you read Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down to 68. These are the curses the most I put upon people for disobeying the law of statute commandments of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. This is why we in the situation we in now, ultimately, man, because we went off against the Heavenly Father, man. He was walk uh, angry with us, man, so that's why he, he putting all this hell on us, man. Including your your woman uh, being out of order, man, and giving you hell, man, and and, and put you know Esau eat him, um having this woman over you, man. That's part of curses, man. Yeah. All right. So, but most I getting ready to um, deliver us out of out of these curses. We, we see it now, man. Since, since uh, certain men are returning to you, how about Shimei Ab Shai uh, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts of best ability? We see. Um, Esau's no, Edom no. um, queendom um, crumbling for eyes, and these them curses are uh, reversing and put and being put upon him, man. According to Deuteronomy thirty-seven. God, and let me say this real quick, God. Okay. And, and Esau knows that you uh, that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, man. Yeah. Especially you so-called Negroes, he come on you the hardest because you the head trap. And when you read the Willie Lynch letter and compare it to Deuteronomy the twenty-eight chapter, same thing. God. Okay. We took the curses out of Deuteronomy the 28th chapter and put it in a Willie Lynch letter. So if I can have a chance to read that, read that letter, man, you will see it. Compare. Kind, kind, brother. Kind, like, 
like you said, you know, you know, man, reason why the uh, man leaves, leaves, you know, he tied you women's BS, man. You know, he can't take no more, so he gets get the hell away from you, man. Um, this, yeah. this is um, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 54. So that man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes should be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Uh-huh. All right. And that's why you know, I might have kids. This, this bitch is a constant headache. You might have kids. I mean, my kids to lock your children, you know. Um... And he just go about his business, man. He just leaves, man. Get get tired. He get tired. Of you being the damn demon, man. You know. Yeah. And then when those children become young adults, they get mad at the uh, father without knowing what the hell the situation was, man. Right, which is dumb as hell. Which show you kids. I mean, your children. You fucking. You won't get side story instead of just listening to your damn mom all the damn time, man. But she. Um, 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 telling you bullshit because she's mad at him. That's pretty much what that's all about. Yeah, and especially in today's society, how the court system is um, on the woman's side, man. They can have it where you can't get business rights and all that, man. Exactly, man. This, this, and guess what? This bitch, hey, you, you might not be, you might not uh, want to deal with this bitch no more, but you'll contact her just for your children's sake, and the bitch. Might cut the phone off or some where you can't get in contact with her, and then she'll turn lies to her damn son and daughter that you don't give a damn about them, and you you um uh, a deadbeat man, which that's not really true. You trying to reach out to him, man, but she made it impossible for you to do it, and then she's gonna turn around and lie to her kids, telling her them all types of BS how how you you don't give a damn about them, and that you ain't nothing. Yeah, my pop, my pop, my pop, you weren't allowed to talk to him in the house. On the, you know, when you had those telephones, you press the button that be on the wall. Yeah. And you call. She's like, don't call him in this house. You had to go to the laundromat and, 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 and go to the payphone at the time and pay 25 cents or 35 cents to yeah. uh, make a phone call to him. Yeah. So, it, so it, your mom going to tell you bullshit, man, cause, out of anger, man, because she mad at him pretty much, man. So she's going to lie about him to you. You know, yeah. um, and I'm, oh man, don't let don't let the son. Oh man, don't let your son look like the dad. Um, he gonna go through all types of hell with his mom, man. If she, you oh, look yeah. just like this, like like your dad. You you finish, man. You gonna put <laughs> and, then, and then her mama, you know, her, your mother's mother, which would, would be your grandmother. She gonna uh, add on to it. Yep. He looks just like his daddy. Yep. Man. Yeah, man. You, yeah, you, so it's, it's all part of curses anyway, man. But beautiful thing is, um, the most sides get ready. I, I um, like I tell you, um, Lamentation four twenty one. I punch me is finished. He gonna visit Esau, eat him. And he gonna make Esau drink that cup. All right, for all we done to our people, man. All right, the most sides gonna make him pay. All right. Right, that was it on that. Uh, you had something. Yeah, it's uh, Ephesians uh, 5 and 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, man. Okay? This is a, this is the law, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what the lady was saying in the video is the truth, man. Okay, it's all about being submissive, man. That's the type of woman that that you would want to have, man, that'll make you happy, man. God. Okay, you don't want no dominant woman. Them women are crazy, man. They don't give you all kind of problems, man. You, you can have a dominant when y'all doing y'all business, having y'all intimacy. The five, you know, the characteristic of all, that's not the type of woman you want, man. You stay the hell away from them, man. And then be honest with you, that's, yeah. un, that's unattractive any damn way. No, it's, it's, it's manly like, man. She's yeah. taking charge. Like, she's taking a man role in, in that um, characteristic, man. Yeah, it's not, not, not feminine at all. It's not attractive, man. If you in your right damn mind, man. Guys that like that, some you crazy as hell too, man. Yeah. All right. One time you want to comment is is every now and then when y'all like I said y'all doing y'all thing, but right in the bedroom, right? Exactly. Uh-huh. Right, however y'all do it, man. But a woman yeah. run her damn mouth talking sh- shit, you know. <laughs> you yeah, know, acting like a damn mind. man, you know that's not feminine at all, man. You know that's not how a woman should be, man. Exactly. So I'm going to start it again. It's Ephesians uh, 5 and 22. Wives, 
submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Okay? For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Yahweh Shah is the head of the church. Hmm. And he is the savior of the body. Okay? So the husband is the head of the wife, man. Mm -hmm. Like I say, man, when you watch that video, you kind of, uh, for me, I, it made me rejoice because I was, I was thinking of Proverbs, the 31st chapter, like I said. I'm like, hey, man, this side of women going to be in the kingdom, man. Ah, yeah, most okay, right. They're going to be proud, glad to be submissive. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say proud, they're going to be glad, happy to be submissive to their husbands, man, and do whatever he tells them to do. God, because the kingdom of heaven, them, them demons ain't going to be, be plaguing them, be on them no more, man. Ultimately, you women got demons on them, man. They on the left hand side, man. All right. Like I said, uh, what's that? Is that Hebrews where they, the, the law gonna be planted inside of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you gonna be grab it. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, what I just read, that's gonna be planted inside of the woman's mind, man. And she gonna go back to the way she's supposed to be, man. Yeah. yeah because some everything is. This, this place is out, you know, as scripts say, earth is out of course. This, everything's upside down under this devil's rule because, you know why? Because he's the devil. It's plain and simple, man. The most high is going to get this damn devil out the way and and, turn, and go and bring br things back to the way it's supposed to be, man. All right. All right. Uh, hold on one minute. We're going to try to find it. You said Hebrews. Uh, what's more that scripture? Uh, that's it. Okay, con, con. Let me uh, give me one second, baby, me for a moment. Grab the Hebrews. I believe it's Hebrews eight. If I'm mistaken. Let's see. Uh. Yep, Hebrews eight and uh. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I saw eight. It's Hebrews eight and eight. For uh, finding fault with them, he said, "Behold, the days come." Said the Lord, you said something out? No, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay, kind. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. The house of Judah is, represents the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So called uh -huh. Negroes, um, West Indies, and um, Haitians, and um, Israel, house of Israel is the northern kingdom, from Ephraim, Puerto Rican, so called Puerto Ricans, um, the natives. Native Americans, Seminoles, and um, uh, so-called Mexicans, you know. All right. It says, Now, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand of, by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. All right. Because ultimately, we, we in this flesh. The flesh is subject to go off, man. God, exactly. All right. So it's uh, verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. And the Lord said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a power and they should be to me a people, man. And that's good. That's beautiful, man. Because most I'm going to write the law, statute, commandments in our inward parts. We're not going to go off no more, man. We're going to keep everything perfect, man. You know, not like now. We in this corrupt chains of darkness, flesh. So it's a damn battle to do what's right, man. All right. Verse 11. And they should teach every man his neighbor, every man his brother, saying they, they should not slack it. And they should not teach every man his neighbor. How, what's, how you going to teach somebody they already know, man? We're going to have it all in us. Yeah, it's gonna be already in them, so they ain't, they ain't gonna have to. Uh, ain't gonna be no Akimat teaching on the highways and byways no more, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't no older women gonna be teaching the young women how to um, be, you know, be women. Exactly. They gonna know. They gonna know, and they gonna they gonna do it, man. Yeah. All right. All right. So it says, um, and they should, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor, every man his brother, saying, "Know the Lord for all." For all shall know me, all of them, from le to the, from the least to the greatest, and I will be merciful unto to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities. While I remember no more, you no. Know? And, and he and that he said a new covenant he had made the first old. Now 
that which decayed and waxed old is ready to vanish away. So that's hey, that's the point, man. So the women gonna be women again. They're gonna um, play their role the way you're supposed to, man. No more this out. It ain't gonna be no more that out of order bullshit that you got going on here. Because like I said, every, the reason, the main reason why things are out of order because the wicked's in power, man. Exactly. He, he's contrary to what's right and to the ways of the Lord anyway. It's these so-called white people, Esau, Edom, the devil. Mm-hmm. All right, that was it on that, brother. You had, uh, you had some, brother. Yeah, um, I'm going to read that Proverbs 31. Uh, con, con. Not all, I'm going to read some of it. It says Proverbs 31, and um, I'm going to start at 10. It says, who can find a virtuous woman? That's a question mark. Yep. That's a question mark. Yep. And, and in society, no one, man. Yep. And even Solomon at his time, he said, out of, what, what, what did he say? Uh, out of a thousand women, he found none righteous. Right. I, I hold that shit. Yeah, I hold that. Matter of fact, read it. Uh, you can read it right now. Okay, kind of. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, I got you, brother. This is um, Ecclesiastes 7. And, um, 26, I started 26, and I find more bitter than death the woman. More bitter than death the woman, damn. Yeah, so that's, a, that's, a, that's a harsh thing, man. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, kind. Kind, hey, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, um, in the, the Apocrypha, Sirach, it tells you, give me any plague, but give me the plague, any plague, but the, um, was, uh, then, uh, then, uh, how it go, um, the plague of wicked, wicked women, something like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, kind of, you brothers, you know, some brother, you know what I'm talking about. So, it's, I, he, he always tell you, I would dwell with a, a roaring lion then uh, keep company with a wicked woman, something like, it goes something like that. Yeah, another one in Proverbs say, I'd rather dwell, dwell in the wilderness than with the uh, brawling woman, man. Yeah. So, that's sure, that's the worst thing ever, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, it says... And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, I mean the traps. They always try to trap you up, man. Get, get, and um, get over, one over when you trick you, man. You know, and one of them traps they use is is getting pregnant with your child, man. Yeah, it's a done deal. Yeah, okay. exactly. So it says, that her hands hands as bands. Whoso pleases your Howard shall escape from her." But sin should be taken by her. A wicked woman is given to a wicked man. And, uh, and guess what? And, you know, I look at this like, uh, you know, as a reason why, you know, uh, some brothers, most I don't have one a woman, man. Most I, um, they say, well, so please the Lord, she'll escape from her. Well, matter of fact, might not even have her. One way of escaping. That's matter of fact. That's the best way of escaping from us not dealing with them. Period. Yeah. Kind, <laughs> kind. So it says, "Behold, I, this have I found," said the preacher, "Count one by one to find out the account which my which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found. So it's majority of majority of men are wicked, but some righteous men out there. Yeah. All right. But a woman among all those have I not found. So they all ain't right, man. Yeah. That's basically what they're saying. And that's back in Solomon's time. One of the wisest men to walk the face of the planet, man. God. Yeah. And what proves that is an account when uh, these two women, I think somebody killed the baby. Uh, the baby died and they sleep or something. I'm glad, though. But the lady lied and said that it wasn't her baby. That, that the, uh, the baby that was alive with us, and she lied, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, um, I, I said, come here and let me kill him. And then the lady whose child it was, she started crying and was like, no, no. Yeah, she that basically like, man, uh, get, get love, had a baby. They, I guess they argue who uh, baby was. So that's how I knew who, who really, who, um, who, who, um, child it was, man. Uh, Cause that shows you way back then these women was how uh, wicked these women were way back then. Con, 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 because you know the, the real mother of the child they ain't they ain't gonna see a child get um a split um uh, cut into two. Exactly. You know. Yeah, that's right. Cause he said every split and a half. Yeah. <laughs> when you get sarcastic about it, man. Con. 
God, kind. So that's how he found out. I th believe is um how I go. I go back to I know it's in, um King's third chapter if I'm not mistaken, man. It, it t gives you that account, you know. You know. Well, um, that that was on that thing. I lost. Well, I was about to say I'm finna say something. Lord willing, it'll come back to me. But you okay. had something. Well, I'm gonna bring out that um finish with that Proverbs 31. Uh, it's Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? Like I said, that's a question. For her price is above rubies, okay? And rubies are very valuable, man, okay? And it says, the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil, man, okay? You can trust in these women nowadays, buddy, boy, you're in some trouble, okay? You know, when, it, when it's time for you to go through hell, they're going to they show you their true side, man. Yeah, they gonna turn okay. on you. I remember what yeah. I was about to say now, man. We going back to Solomon, kind they gonna turn on you. Going back to Solomon, man. You know he had a thousand women, a thousand women. So he wrote that account. Out of a thousand women found none righteous. He had a thousand women, man. So you think he had, he had the experience? God dealing with a thousand women. You know damn we have experience on on how these women are, man. Yeah. So basically, he can back up every damn word he says, man. Yeah. That's all I want to say. That I, I remember. <laughs> the uh, body out about you, man. I was trying to bring it back to my memory. But you, 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 more of that, brother. Yeah, it says, uh, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life, man. Okay? And you're not, like I say, you're not going to sign that on this side, man. It's not happening, man. Yeah. Even with this woman and this um, thing, you know, they made it look good on, on camera, but I'm sure that they had their little, you know, arm screws and everything. Oh, yeah. The point is, she made it look good, you know, for the uh, report. You know? Kind, kind. I mean, yeah, kind. Yeah, so, yeah, you, you, you ain't no getting around. I mean, y'all gonna argue sometime. You know, some it's different levels uh, on these women's wickedness, man. You know, some are worse than others. Yeah. All right. What's more than that? That's it. All right, this is uh, Tempe. Man, train come all the damn time and do less, man. This is um, First Timothy five and uh, fourteen. It says, "I would therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully." And so they have, hey, it said, "Therefore the young woman marry." Bear children, guide the house. You don't say go out in the workforce or be over the man, man. Say guide the house. That backed up what she said, man. Cook for him, clean, take care of the house. That's that's all. That, that's guiding the house, man. Right. Take care of the young children. Yeah. Take care of the, um, the, wet, the girls, the young girls especially. But when the young boy gets of age, then he starts hanging with his father more. Mm hmm. Uh, he's not doing more things with his father, man. He's becoming a young man. God. And it says, Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully, reproachfully, for some are already turned aside, turned aside at the Satan, which is all of them now. Yeah, which proves that when you rebelled against your husband, that's a form of devil worship, man. Yep. Join the serve of Satan, man. Following the ways of uh, Esau Edom, man. You know, and these um women that, that claim ain't truth, they the worst ones, man. How are you gonna talk about you and the truth? Well, if a man, let's say a man, even look or talk to, talk to another woman, you you get mad, man. You ain't the truth, then, man. Then, then on top of that, a lot of them lust that. That's why it ain't good to bring uh, brothers around your woman because a lot of the women that lust that the um, other guys they speak. Oh yeah, brothers, everything. Yeah, you don't know what be going on in these women's mind. They they might not actually, they might actually say say nothing or uh, 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 make it make make it be known. But you don't know what's going on in these damn women's heads, man. Yeah, women are, are good with concealing uh, their thoughts. Yeah, you know, they, they they very good at that. Kind. So. This brother been around. This bitch probably take a take a liking to him, man. You don't know what be going on with the women. These women are wicked, man. That's why, I, you know, that's why, man. You know, you know I'm not shit. I try to stay away from, away from brothers, and women to the best of my ability, man. Uh, All 
All right. You don't know what they like. like. They might like the way they talk or the way they look. You know, you just never know. Right. But, you know. See, I've seen brother wife. You know, they, that's why I might hate when they brother women be around around the brothers. Be honest with you, man. I seen uh-huh. I seen brothers uh wives bend over ass all in in, bro, in the brothers face like what's that all about man? Yeah, coming in there you know you might might be sitting down in the middle row ready to do a lesson and she coming in so you know how they like to grab the fast they pants with the you know and pull them up and stuff man like, so you so you show her ass and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, man. <laughs> Hey, bro, man, I don't want to be around no brother's woman, man. Yeah, there's number of trouble. Number of trouble, man. They get, cause you to uh, get kicked kicked out of uh, out of camp. You might do the do the do the work of the Lord by yourself, man. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't if, 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 if she ain't in the truth and she dressed lustfully, I mean, if you can't. Some guys can't control themselves. They end up lusting in their mind after. Yeah, and you got. Brothers who sit, they gotta fight them thoughts now, man. Yeah. So it's best, you know, they just stay the hell away, man. Yeah. When your brother come over, man, just put, tell her to go in the room or something, man. All right. Uh, that was it on that, I believe. You had something, brother? Yeah, if you ain't got nothing else, I'll close it with this. Uh, I had one more. I was just gonna read how, how to, uh, in Corinthians the order. That was, that was the only other scripture I had. Matter of fact, you can close it with that. Uh, well, okay. I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to go back into Proverbs uh, 31 again. Okay. It's uh, Proverbs uh, 31 and 30. Favor is deceitful, okay? Because when you find favor in anything, it can be evil in it. And you find favor in somebody, it's deceitful, man, period. Mm-hmm. It says, um, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised, man. Praised by who? Her husband, man. Okay, because if you fear the Lord, what you what what they say? If you fear the Lord, keep my commandments, man. Mm-hmm. And we read what some of the commandments are that the Lord has uh, inserted men and husband and wives, man. Mm-hmm. Wife um, obey the husband. Okay, what you think gonna happen? She's the husband gonna praise the man. He gonna love her even more, man. Con, con. That was it on that. Yeah, that's it. Con, this uh, closing out with this one. This First Corinthians eleven and three. But I'll have you know that the head of every man is your house shy, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of your house shy is your howl. So yeah. the get order right there. Your howl is the heavenly father, his son, your house shy, the Israelite man, and then the Israelite woman. Yeah, that's it. You know? And I'm gonna jump down um to eight. Uh first Corinthians eleven eight. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Yeah. So there you go, man. You know, that's the order. You can't can't have a woman. A woman can't just form out of nowhere. She has to be from the seed of the man. God, that's why the man has an XY chromosome. That determines what the gender is. You know, when he puts plant seed in the woman, you know, um, which proved uh, the man's older woman right there, man. Because all for to get pregnant, she got uh, man got a papa and plant seed in her. Uh, you know. Uh, man, um, you know, like I said, a man has the XY chromosome in terms of the sex of the baby. You know, you know, you know all that. You know, but um, yeah, but that, that's the point, man. At First Corinthians. 11th chapter gives you the order, man. And most likely, he's gonna, um, it's gonna go back to that in the kingdom of heaven. Man. Yeah, because man is first. And when you read Matthew, the first chapter, man, it gives the order of all the men, man. Yeah. You see? Yeah. yeah. Prove your nationality determined by your father, man. It gives you the male genealogy, man. Uh. All right. And all that other crap come out the wrong woman, just whatever your mom is, that's all that virgin, so called virgin birth crap. And that's not real, right? And that's um um uh, what well, you said earlier. Um, that all go, that go back to the um um hey, um, you said at the beginning. You go back to the uh, putting these women over the man, man. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Talking about, talking about 
you know, your mother, your nationality turned by your mother. That's complete BS, man. All right. Your nationality is turned by your father. It only makes sense. He carried the sperm, the seed, man. How the hell you, you ain't no way in hell. It don't make sense that your nationality is turned by a woman. She don't carry the seed. Exactly. So, yeah, man. The most side, yeah, you go, all these, this bullshit philosophies and pushed out, you, you people, people. <laughs> Oh yeah, I seen something the other day, man. Some woman talking about some damn, damn male menopause. What? Ain't no such thing as that bullshit, man. Yeah, that's all that. Uh, that's that's a that's these thoughts philosophy, man. Yeah, ain't no such thing that shit, man. These women. Yeah, like you saw, we got to that you got to defend them side to it. No, you don't. Right. Well, you saw literally does. <laughs> yeah, 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 kind of, yeah. He's, like I say, he's a bitch by nature anyway, man. His spirit is not right in him, man. That script tell you how to cook the second chapter, man. He's completely off, man. This devil's completely off, man. And these women bring that bullshit up, man, because that shows you right there. They envy you, man. They hate you, man. So they they hate <laughs> they won't put whatever they go through on you, man, because they, they hate you and envy you, man. All right. Shows you right there. That that's that's total BS, man. But um, yeah, that was it, man. You know, uh, uh, that's all I had. Yeah. So, um, like we say, the point was made. It's a uh, pretty good report. I think when y'all get a chance, um, check out the report. It's only twelve minutes long. Um, the book is called The Total Woman, and uh, basically, the girl was telling the truth in that in this video. You know. So uh, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakat, Banash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. And salutations to all you, I came out there pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Shalom.